The driver's a 14-year-old juvenile male. What's your favorite flavor? Almond Joy. Lemon. Coconut and cotton candy. Grape and coconut. Banana and chocolate. I like the ice cream. Banana! So I saw it was a police chase because the person that they were chasing, it looked like one person behind the wheel, that's all, all I saw. He had a flat tire. This is the car wanted in the pursuit. Pursuit went from Washington Avenue, down Fairfield Avenue, in and out of side roads, into Black Rock, and then finally here on Grover's Ave. So yesterday by 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, we had a home invasion on Waverly Place in Bridgeport. Uh, during the course of that home invasion, uh, the suspect stole one of the victim's vehicles with the keys. Uh, that vehicle was a uh, tan Buick. So that information was broadcast to police officers and uh, we were looking for that vehicle. Uh, today officers on patrol see the car in the area of Park Avenue and Washington Avenue. Follow it, call for additional cars to assist to try to safely stop the car. Uh, once we got units in the area, they attempted to initiate a motor vehicle stop with their license sirens and unfortunately the vehicle failed to stop and engaged police in a pursuit. And at some point it uh, culminated in the Black Rock section of Fairfield where the uh, driver of the vehicle crashed his car into a garage of a driveway on Grover Street. The uh, driver fled the vehicle on foot and was apprehended in the next yard by police officers. And then what, what did you find that he had on uh, he has some crack cocaine in his pockets. Um, we have not recovered a weapon at this point. Uh, the driver is a 14-year-old juvenile male, so we're just not going to release his name because of his age and status right now. Uh, our detectives were able to interview him and get some useful information from him that will be part of their criminal investigation into the home invasion. He was involved in another incident that happened on Friday where either a firearm or a facsimile of a firearm was displayed on uh, Madison Avenue. It's a, a serious juvenile offense. Uh, then the juvenile can be remanded to a juvenile detention center, but that can only be done on the order of a judge now with the change in the state law. Uh, in the past, uh, police officers had some discretion based upon uh, certain felony violations that met the criteria of a serious juvenile offense that they would automatically be remanded to a detention center. That's not the case anymore.